हेलो एवरीवन हाउ आर यू दिस इज उज्ज्वला एंड वेलकम टू आवर चैनल यू एम साइंस टुडे द वीडियो इज अबाउट द ह्यूमन बोन्स वेयर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट स्केलेटन इन डिटेल लेट अस सी फर्स्ट हाउ द स्केलेटन शोज एंड व्हाट इज द ह्यूमन स्केलेटन द ह्यूमन स्केलेटन इज द इंटरनल फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ द ह्यूमन बॉडी सो इट सपोर्ट्स आवर होल बॉडी it is composed of around 270 bones at birth this total decreases to around 206 bones by adulthood after some bones get fused together so this is one kind of magical thing that at birth we have more bones as compared to our adulthood now the bone mass is the skeleton reaches maximum density around age 21 now let us see the variety of view of the skeleton the first two show the side view it is shown like third one in the front view and the last is about the backward now about the variety of area in the human skeleton the first area is skull second area you can see in the screen it is thoracic area or it is also called as thoracic cavity these are the four limbs or four arms and the lower two are the hind limb or hind arms the internal middle area that is pelvis area it is also known as pelvis girdle now the first will see in detail it is skull it is very important part because it protects our brain so in case of heavy jerk or any injury it will make it safe and secure so how it is made up of so the first thing it consists of variety of bones you can see in the figure the front part is known as frontal the backward is known as parietal both the side that is temporal then there is a smaller bone known as sphenoid both the upper area on the facial side it is zygomatic bone the upper jaw is known as maxilla lower jaw is mandible the downward back portion known as occipital the internal at the facial side that is ethmoid lacrimal and nasal so let us see first ethmoid the midline cranial bone it is then after frontal this is the bone that forms the forehead the lacrimal pears bone that form the wall of the orbit near the eye then the mandible bone that forms the lower jaw maxilla is the bone that forms the upper jaw nasal is a pair bone that forms the bridge of the nose that we can also feel when we touch our nose occipital this bone that form the posterior portion of the head parietal this pair bone at the top of the skull they articulate with each other another bone in the skull sphenoid this is the midline bone that has several processes associated with it and the temporal at the both the side it is a pair bone that form the lateral wall of the skull and articulate with the mandible at the temporomandibular joint last is the zygomatic is a pair facial bone that form our cheek so this is how the whole skull is being associated and created here total all the bones our human skull is generally considered to consist total 22 bones where eight are the cranial bones and 14 facial skeletal bones so total is 24 here how this 24 occur in the neurocranial these are the occipital bone then there are two temporal bones at both the side two parietal bone sphenoid bone ethmoid and frontal bone now about the next portion that is thoracic area or the thoracic cavity it look like this in a separate form consist of thoracic vertebra 
the central sternum bone the ribs are two type of there first is true rib and the lower are false rib the very lower side it is also known as floating ribs as per its structure here there is one sternum bone there are two ribs in the number of seven three false ribs are there and at the bottom two floating ribs are there you need to remember this number because in the next presentation we are going to calculate all the bone of our human body now that was above the thoracic area now moving to the next part that is four limbs or known as four arms where it consists of the bigger one the upper arm known as humerus and the lower area consists of two type of bones known as ulna and radius then what we call our wrist and then after the hand consists of carpals metacarpals and the fingers are phalanges here the humerus is totally two for both the hands then pectoral girders that is shoulder consists of two scapula and two clavicles because we are considering here two arms then we have two ulna two radius and in hand total there is 40 54 bones in a total where 27 in each hand then the carpus will come metacarpus will come that is 10 bones in total five on each side and last is the phalanges of the hand that are the fingers now above the next point that is hind limb also known as hind arm or the lower arm it consists of this all variety of type where the pelvis girder is also given some of the part at the upper area that is ilium coxal bone and sacrum then after the internal pubis of the pelvis girder and the ischium now starts our forelimb where the first largest bone of the whole human skeleton known as femur internal connection between the femur and the lower tibia and fibula known as patella lower as i said it is tibia and fibula and the finger and the last palm area it is tarsals metatarsals and phalanges so total all these limbs together make our forelimb now the hind limb consists of the femur patella tibia fibula tarsals metatarsals and digits that is phalanges here it moves against or articulates with the pelvis at the tip joint the bone articulate against each other at joints because the moving portion is necessary as we are using our foot for walking and running now the last part comes that is pelvic girdle or pelvic area here this pelvic area look like this when it is separated from the main human skeletal it consists of the uppermost base of sacrum where the vertebral column or the sacrum is being associated then both the side two large iliac chest is there or ilius fossa internally then it is ilium the internal is a sacrum lower side it is pubic bone and the smaller one at the end of vertebral column you can see here that is coccyx then after the end portion known as pubic arch which connect both the side ischium so this is how the whole pelvis bone is being situated the pelvis also called bony pelvis or pelvis girdle that connects the trunk and the leg supports the balance the trunk and contain the support the intestine and urinary bladder and the internal sex organs so here at the summarize what we know that each and every bones are there to protect something to support something and to give a safe environment here the pelvis consists of pair hip bones connected in front at the pubis symphysis and behind by the sacrum that you can see in the figure 
इज इन मेड अप ऑफ थ्री बोन्स द ब्लेड शेप इलियम अब एंड डू टू आइदर साइड विच अकाउंट फॉर द विथ ऑफ द हिप्स द इस्टियम बिहाइंड एंड बिलो ऑन विच वेट फॉल्स इज सिटिंग एंड द प्यूब इज इन फ्रंट सो हियर द इस्टियम इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट वन एंड द हिप्स आर ऑल्सो बिकॉज वेर वी आर सिटिंग एंड गिविंग द प्रेशर दिस विल हेल्प एंड सपोर्ट द वेट ऑफ अवर होल बॉडी सो दिस इज हाउ वी लर्न अबाउट द टॉप मोस्ट स्कल एरिया विच प्रोटेक्ट्स अवर ब्रेन सेकेंड वॉज द थोरेसिक एरिया विच प्रोटेक्ट्स अवर हार्ट स्टमक लंग्स एंड वराइटी ऑफ मेजर एरिया द फोर लिम्स और फोर आर्म्स आर सपोर्टिंग अवर मूवमेंट एज वेल एज अवर राइटिंग ईटिंग एंड अदर प्रोसेस दैन द हिंद लिम और हिंद आर्म प्रोटेक्ट्स अवर वॉकिंग एंड रनिंग पैटर्न एंड द पैलविस गर्डन इज द सेंट्रल पोर्सन विच कनेक्ट अवर होल स्केलेटन थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल लाइक इट एंड शेयर इट एज मच एज पॉसिबल टू गेट दिस काइंड ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियो प्लीज क्लिक द बेल आइकॉन थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग